Hi my dear students welcome back to my class hope everyone are fine this video is dedicated for all the students who are attending SSLC 2022 board examination dear students in this video i am discussing about the most important concepts that are discussed in akashavani program by social resource teachers for your board examination preparation this is the continuation of part 1 video in the part 1 i had already discussed the history and also the political science part in this video i am continuing with the sociology dear students whichever the points which i am discussing in this video is very important with respect to your examination point of view so without fail you have to compulsorily practice and also learn these concepts so firstly i am discussing the sociology part in sociology the first lesson is social stratification dear students here you can expect three marks questions very important so the concepts which are very important and you must practice are what are the measures taken to eradicate untouchability how is untouchability a social evil discuss features of social stratification so these are the very important concepts without fail you have to discuss from this particular lesson so moving to next lesson labor so in this particular lesson you can expect two mark and one mark questions the most important concepts are what are the challenges faced by unorganized sector workers differentiate between unorganized and organized sector workers what is the division of labor social security types of division of labor so these are the important concepts and this lesson is very easiest lesson dear students so you have to learn all the concepts which i have mentioned now so moving to next lesson that is social movement see here you can expect mcq or two marks questions the most important topics here are environmental movement who led narmada bachao andolan and who led the kaiga nuclear power plant so these kind of questions can be asked in mcq apart from that for two marks they can ask what is women's movement alcohol movement chipko movement apiko movement narmada bachao andolan so these are the important concept that you can expect in two marks question so don't forget to study these concepts so this is all about sociology moving to geography the first lesson is the position and extension of india so here you can expect the map so they can ask you to label indira point indira coal 82 and half degree north latitude 82 and half degree east latitude 23 and half degree tropic of cancer or equator so this special this lesson is specially you know dedicated for map marking itself so learn all the map markings which i told now other map and other map markings also from this particular lesson moving to next lesson physical divisions of india or indian physiography so here you can expect two mark one question very important concept that you must study are importance of northern mountains importance of northern plains importance of deccan plateau importance of coastal plains and 100% you can expect one question difference between eastern and western ghats so whatever the concepts i told now they are very very important dear students so you must practice these concepts okay from physical divisions of india next from the next lesson that is india climate here you can expect one mcq and one one mark question the concept which you have to focus in this lesson are heavy rainfall and low rainfall areas area with high temperature and low temperature and the branches of monsoon so these are some of the important concepts from india climate moving to india soil here you can expect two marks one question and also one mark one question the important concepts are formation of soil for example in exam they can ask black soil is formed by dash red soil is formed by dash so such kind of questions can be asked in mcqs and three mark or two mark expected question is 
what are the causes of soil erosion how can we prevent soil erosion and the effects of soil erosion so these are the very important concepts from india soil moving to next lesson that is india forest resources here you can expect two marks one question the important concepts are name the measures for the conservation of forests what are the causes for the destruction of forests features of forests so you can also expect which are the trees grown in different area such kind of questions can also be expected okay so very important concept these are from the india forest resources moving to next lesson india water resources here also you can expect a map marking okay so they can ask you to uh, mention some of the important rivers ports river valley projects so such kind of things can be asked from this particular lesson moving to next india land resources here you can expect four mark one question okay four mark one question very important you have to practice that is classification of land use pattern of india types of agriculture land use patterns and type of agriculture both are very very important read carefully you can expect for four mark very important topic okay yes moving to next lesson that is india transport and communication for three marks one question will be asked from this particular lesson so the important concepts are importance of transport importance of communication international airports so on the basis of this particular topic map marking will be asked for example they can ask indira gandhi airport is located in so you have to mention it is present in delhi so delhi is the one thing you have to go which you are going to mark on the map so this is all about transport and communication moving to next lesson india industries so here you can expect three mark one question and also a map marking so three marks one question 100% important question is factors which influence the industrialization very important important topic and then the availability of raw materials the availability of natural resources these concepts are very important from india industries okay practice well the questions may be asked in different way from this particular lesson but based on the same concept based on the raw materials based on the natural resources or based on the industrialization okay so next moving to next lesson india natural disasters from this particular lesson three mark one question importantly you have to study 100% they ask so causes for earthquake causes for cyclone causes for flood causes for landslide similarly effects of earthquake effects of cyclone effects of flood effects of landscape okay and also the prevention of all these things okay six points at least you must learn from this okay there are some similar points between each other look at the similar points and practice very well three marks one question will be asked this is all about geography dear students moving to political science here for political science totally seven marks is allotted first lesson is development so here you can expect what is development what is under development what is the meaning of national income what is hdi measures to calculate hdi what are the causes for the low hdi in india and also women's self help groups real uh, national income all these things you can expect from this particular lesson so study these concepts very important concepts these are moving to rural development next lesson what is rural development what is the importance of rural development importance of panchayat raj institution and importance of zilla panchayat taluk panchayat gram panchayat role of panchayat raj system so these are very important concept you are going to study from this particular lesson you have to study okay so moving to next business studies the first lesson is banking transactions so here three mark one question is asked sometimes choice will be given okay choice will be given so learn thoroughly about the uh, you know advantages of opening the bank accounts procedures of opening the bank account characteristics of banks functions of banks okay so these are very important concepts 
choice will be given so learn about dense concept and you are going to write clearly in the examination okay make some similar points between uh, the some of the common uh, you know topics and you can write in the examination so very important three marks one question will be asked so learn characteristics functions of banks advantages of opening the bank account procedures of opening the bank account okay so moving to next lesson consumer education and protection so here one mark and two marks questions are expected okay so for example when did consumer protection act come to uh, force in india when is the world consumers day celebrated important rights given by john mention the important aims of the consumer protection act causes for consumer exploitation reasons for consumer exploitation so these are very important topics from the consumer education and protection lesson very important dear students this is very easy lesson so you can learn all the topics so some of the tips which i would like to give here are see you want to focus more on 3 mark and also 4 mark question dear students okay if you are feeling difficult to learn all the lessons so focus on 3 mark and 4 mark questions wherever it is been asked i told you which are the lessons where 3 mark and 4 mark questions are expected and make answers at one place for all the topics which i told in the video and keep on revising so on the last day of the examination that is one day before the examination take out these points and revise as many times as possible so you can score more than 60 okay so do not skip any concept okay you can score more than 60 marks refer textbook do not skip any mcqs or any one mark questions in the examination because sometimes you know grace marks will be given sometimes if the questions are printed wrongly so if you have not attended that question you won't get grace marks if you have attended that question definitely you will get grace marks so don't skip any question sometimes if you are getting 26 marks or 24 marks evaluators will add one or two marks if answers are present in the answer copy okay so that is the one thing you have to remember don't leave any questions in the examination try to attend whatever you know okay so attend all the 38 questions in the examination whatever the concept you have learned till now based on that concept only the questions will be given in the examination so learn the concepts which i have told in the video you will get maximum marks in the examination more than 60 marks you can gain okay so this is all about the important concept which are been discussed in akashavani program for your 2022 board examination preparation i hope you found this video useful dear students if you find this video useful kindly like share and subscribe to my channel and i am science teacher who is training for 2022 board examination if you are not watching my crash course for your 2022 board examination preparation every day morning at 5:30 i am doing the crash courses for sslc board examination preparation you can attend the crash courses and you will get maximum marks in your board examination that is the one assurity i can give you thank you so much for watching my video see you all in my next video